Hey, this is Jim, and um, I am filming a video of the Vortex Diatom filter that I had posted earlier. Um, I got a lot of questions about it, uh, how you run it, and what have you. So, what I typically do is these are the YouTubes that actually go into the tank, um, they sit on the rim of the tank, and mine's mine's a little thick uh, as far as the um, the rim of my tank is like one inch square tubing so um, it doesn't sit completely flush but it does the job so typically you take the uh, the input here and I just sort of siphon it uh, to prime it so as you can see the water is going to be filling up in here And it's going to be coming up, and be coming out on the out tube. So as soon as it reaches all the way up here, and it starts to siphon, I turn it on. It turns on. So the next thing that you got to do, like I mentioned in the previous video, is go to the dollar store and get a dollar uh, plastic um, jug. And while the tubes are running, we're gonna get some aquarium water with the tubes in it. All right. And while you're doing that, you got your diatomaceous earth, another um, dollar uh, from the dollar store, the measuring cup, and you just slowly start feeding it. And you'll notice. that it's going into the filter and it's starting to coat the polyester filter. So we're going to keep adding it slowly as soon as it clears up a little bit. We add a little bit more. Because if you put in too much, sometimes you'll get uh, an uneven uh, coat coating on the uh, polyester filter. So. This way, if you do it slowly, a little bit at a time, it coats it evenly. And like I had mentioned earlier, um, I would recommend getting two polyester bags uh, filters uh, because one, if you're using this a lot, one of them is going to get um, grimy. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, with fish slime or what have you. Uh, the powder is just not going to adhere to it. So uh, it's best just uh, alternate them and use like a light concentration of bleach or water and put it in a spray bottle, another dollar store item. And then just scrub it down a little bit with warm water, let it air dry, um, and rinse it again just to make sure you get all the bleach out and just alternate it that way. So you can tell that it's getting nice coated very evenly, so we'll add some more, and you can tell it goes pretty fast. And so I did have a question: um, What kind can I use as far as the diatomaceous earth? Uh, this is a salt water version. I would recommend using this one. Um, I do have a freshwater one, but that one's I just use that for a dietary supplement. It's supposed to have a lot of health benefits, so I would stick to the salt water salt water tank. Uh, and also I had another question as far as like the filtering capability. Um, this is a large tank and uh, one of the readers said that this was for like up to less than 100 gallon tank and stuff. But uh, I had talked to the folks over at Vortex and we had truly that like, it was fine for the septic size tank. Uh, they were actually really confident in um, the Vortex filter's uh, ability to filter out a 400 gallon tank and uh, I from what I've seen, it's it does everything at that side of what it's supposed to. Um, and it typically run it at night, um, all day, into its feeding time the following day. And then I'll pull it out because I don't want to pull out the food and what have you and stuff. But uh, this thing is great, especially when you're trying to blow off detritus from the tank, from the rocks, from the sand bed. This thing is. Um, is the best thing I've ever used uh, to get that clear, clear, super clear water 
that we all try to achieve. So once this thing is clear, uh, the tank water, just make sure I get everything in there. And it just takes a few minutes before it's all cleared and ready to go. Um, you put this back into the tank. And typically you do this in the front of the tank, but I have such a large tank that I can do this in the back, it's a lot easier for me. And slowly put it back into the tank. Make sure it's nice and secure. And you're good to go. So that should be 250. Thanks for joining me. See you for more videos. Thanks.